Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Moradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video we're going to talk about some beautiful and very trendy summer beach accessories. Those are definitely not necessities, don't get me wrong, but for most people what I feel like, what I see, is that a lot of people are craving something that's different to switch up or change up their summer beach outfits so this is definitely a video or the video for you and the first beach accessory that i feel like is super mega popular at the moment is for sure chain belts so think 90s Chanel or Prada or any kind of a chain belt that you can imagine those are definitely very in at the moment and the way you can implement them into your beach actual beach wear is to wear them over your bikinis so literally like on your belly and then over your one piece suits in case you don't feel like wearing an actual chain belt over your bare skin the one piece suit is the way to go but also if you're going to a beach cafe you can always wear like a sarong or a poncho or whatever style wrap or cover up and then wear a chain belt over it also chain belts are a beautiful accessory to wear over a cover up like a knit oversized see-through dress that's a cover-up for the beach so over your bikini one piece whatever it is and then wear a chain belt that's actually gonna serve as a belt over your cover-up it's gonna accentuate your waist and your hips it's gonna kind of create some beautiful tension in an outfit and some depth to an outfit because of a new material that's going to be introduced within this chain because most of the time for the beach especially you don't necessarily wear a lot of metallic things because these things get a lot of heat on the sun so a lot of people are avoiding them for a particular reason so this is a way to wear this kind of accessory for the beach and feel good about it and also for it to make sense in your outfit because obviously just wearing it on a breast skin doesn't make sense for a lot of people it's also very extra so this is a way to implement this kind of a thing into your outfit and for it not to look too extra but i'm extra on the beach as well in my life in my style so this is totally okay for me to wear this kind of thing even though it's not very practical so if you know what i mean this is the way to go to spice up your beach outfits then the next mega trend that's going on at the moment is definitely the whole mermaid core aesthetic and one way to get that going in your summer beach outfit is jewels different kinds of earrings statement bracelets chains rope necklaces with pendants and other stuff that's concerning jewelry so maybe anklets everything that looks like a mermaid core aesthetic is the way to go so some shell earrings some wave style or wave pattern earrings or necklaces or pendants or bracelets so anything basically that has to do with the sea the sea life the sea creatures everything that can go with that aesthetic can go into your outfits and the easiest way to go is obviously jewels because you can always wear these accessories with your outfits with your cover-ups you can stay in them wearing them with your swimsuits with your one pieces bikinis etc and obviously a lot of people are in this day and age taking pictures of their outfits and this is a beautiful way to kind of finish off your outfit and complete your outfit and make it look more kind of finished and nice and 3d for your outfit pictures as well this is just the way it is at the moment insta rules the life and tiktok rules the life so it's not necessarily a necessity or it's not necessarily something you would literally have to wear for a beach but no accessories are actually a necessity so this is just a way to spice out your beach outfit and i feel like they look absolutely beautiful with different swimsuits bikinis cover-ups skirts linen shirts that are unbuttoned everything looks very beautiful with mermaid core aesthetic because mermaid core aesthetic is literally like a sea aesthetic so it's very beachy in its essence 
one more beach accessory that's very important that's literally the most important beach accessory for me personally that goes before belts before earrings before everything is spf institutum is literally one of my favorite beauty brands ever this is a beauty brand that was founded by a ukrainian woman in switzerland this is a very beautiful natural 100 percent working in all actuality beauty brand and this this is their new SPF that's called Sunscription Dark Spot Defense. This is SPF Factor 50, which is really important for me. And I'm going to be really honest when I say I'm not really, I'm not the SPF wearer. I was not an SPF wearer most of the time because first of all, for most people, for me as well, SPF left that like sticky texture on my skin and my skin is a combo skin. So believe me when I say I was a literal oil slick couple minutes after applying any kind of SPF, first of all. Second of all, a lot of SPFs actually break me out for one reason or another and third reason is that a lot of SPFs leave a huge white cast on my skin and my skin is not even that dark so for a lot of people that's a huge issue so that's the reason even though I'm a beauty addict I love beauty stuff I love my beauty skincare routine I'm not very, I was not unfortunately, very into SPF honestly just because there were so many issues with SPF and also there were not a lot of options for me personally that worked so I was very excited but also kind of skeptical when I heard of this SPF because of my previous experience that was very triggering for me personally but I need to say that after like a month even at this point a month and a half of using this SPF daily this is my new favorite thing I honestly could not believe that there's not one fault to this SPF it works beautifully it smells amazing even though like smell is not the main point of argument for an spf but it's really important for me personally that things that i apply to my skin are good smelling third reason is that this spf wears like a literal dream it works as a moisturizer as well it moisturizes your skin amazingly and it doesn't leave a white cast at all at all it's a beautiful product and since i'm going to bali in a week or so i'm bringing two tubes of this one with me so that it would be with me at all times because you obviously need to reapply your spfs every two to three hours that's very very important so it's very compact it's beautiful it works really well it actually protects your skin and everything anything that they say in their whole advertising for this spf is absolutely true so i'm gonna link this spf down below and this is honestly the most important beach accessory that you could try this summer. Then we have a very prominent trend for this summer specifically, sarongs and cover-ups, but particularly flower and floral prints on these sarongs. And these could look very vintage and kind of muted and washed out. And I love this kind of aesthetic. And these could look very bright and colorful and there could be a lot of pattern to it. They could be very romantic. They could be very eclectic and crazy and 60s inspired, but anything that's floral and anything that's floral on a sarong is gonna look so beautiful and so unique on the beach and it's very like practical accessory to wear on the beach because it's very easy to untie and then go into the water and swim and then tie it over your swimsuit bathing suit and a bikini and this could be an easy way to spice out your outfit but also make your outfit cafe appropriate because actually a lot of beach cafes and restaurants forbid people going in wearing only like swimsuits and bikinis because it feels like they're wearing lingerie in essence so this is a way to make a practical yet trendy statement and to finish off your outfit the next beautiful beach accessory that to me is very timeless is basically everything that's straw so straw tote bags straw baguette bags straw 
huge pole boats, straw dog bags with leather straps. So anything that's straw is perfect for the beach. Obviously some straw hats as well, but specifically bags are so beautiful because first of all, they bring a lot of texture to your beach outfit, which in all actuality most of the time is just a bikini or a one-piece suit so it's not a lot going on at that point so any texture that could be brought into that outfit is amazing and straw is such a beautiful texture it also we just live in this day and age it photographs very well so in all these spheres i feel like straw is the way to go and straw bags are very practical as well they're very easy to carry they're not very heavy but the only downside to straw bags is that specifically for straw tote bags and handmade straw tote bags they're kind of uneven and sometimes they wear not very well and it's very hard to travel with them and you end up actually wearing the straw bag as your plain carry-on because it's very unuseful and unpractical to pack into your luggage so this is basically the only kind of con to this whole straw bag saga but if you're into wearing it as your carry-on it's absolutely beautiful it looks beautiful it's styled effortlessly it could work for the beach but also for your city travel and city walk arounds it works beautifully with different dresses denim linen whatever it is so it's the way to go also something that's very practical but also a beautiful beach accessory and plays into the whole uh, like girly core romantic romanticizing your life core aesthetic whatever the freak it is it's the claw clips they have such a chokehold on people this year it's absolutely crazy and i feel like the person that kind of started this whole aesthetic back again is definitely matilda jerf and these claw clips could be literally anything that could be covered in crystals that could be covered in like different kinds of paint and prints etc and they're very useful because most of the time when you're swimming you don't want to get your hair wet so this is a beautiful kind of accessory that also works well to not let your hair get wet as well as to complete your outfit and it's easy to put on your back and that's what all the cool girls do they put this basically on your back handle and they carry it that way and then they put it on your hair and then they put it back on your back so easy to carry very practical looks beautiful completes your outfit works as a head piece head accessory so if you're not wearing any earrings or necklaces this is basically a piece of jewelry for your hair that's going to complete your outfit so definitely try to experiment with this it's very useful and um, i feel like it's very accessible as well it sells everywhere and the last accessory we're going to talk about is definitely colorful anklets and anklets in general also crystal covered anklets like diamante type anklets colorful beaded anklets so something that looks like you could wear this in bali or in tulum this is the way to go so maybe some rustic notes or maybe some chic notes anklets is the way to go not only for the beach actually but i prefer in all actuality to wear these kinds of anklets in the city because in the city this is not necessarily something that you expect because they're very beachy but in the city when you wear an anklet it kind of completes your outfit in a beautiful and unexpected way and this is what i'm striving for and this is it for this video let me know in the comments below which of these accessories are your lane and which are not and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye